This is Richie's Radio Room. I'm having problems with my magnetic mixer. It's what I use. One of these is what I use to uh, make my solder flux. Uh, power comes on, but the heat, it's acting like the switch is broken. I just was using it a half hour ago. If you can hear, you can put a, a, a mixer bar when you have your flask on here. That'll set in the bottom of the flask. And that'll that'll mix things up. It's really nice. I don't know what I ever did without it. Well, I, I had to stand there and mix it a lot is what I had to do. Another thing, too, is because I was checking the fuse. That's not part of it. Uh, the whole fuse assembly is turning here so there's a nut inside here that's not tight anymore so this thing is only about six months old of course I use it a lot I use it every day almost every day Sometimes I go back to the old mixer, old mixing method, but depends on what I'm making. I don't know what's going on with my camera. I'm making that, uh, it's actually not my camera making that jumping it's the, uh, the software the darn uh, Microsoft life cam all right are there any no capacitors to ruin my day and don't look like it's that big but I'm definitely gonna have to tighten that Been nice if they put a wall. Oh, they did put a washer behind there. That thing's really loose. Good enough. So anyway, there's your magnetized motor. Little bar spins around. Two switches. Little resistor for the switch. I was wondering if there was some kind of thermal protection that was keeping this. Oh, it's this switch here. Yeah, the switch is gone. Gold, darn it. There is a possibility. that I might be able to fix it. Let's see here. Turn on Mr. Slurpee. As soon as I cut this. This is just off my wrench set so that it doesn't open up and spill all over. I just want to do this to remind me that these two wires go together.
and of course I mean I suppose it doesn't really matter but the resistor goes there all right mr. thirsty how are we doing oh what I did was I put some uh, what would you call it that mesh this is like for scrubbing like a copper scrub pad and it's catching them solder balls to try to save my uh, my filter here I think we're still clogged Oh yeah. Not no more. Yoch. That sounds better. One hundred watts of heating power. Oh, wow. Yep. A little bit hot. That is a really cheap switch. If I can get in here. Get in here. So, self minder, reminder, the insulated wire goes to the resistor, which is on the top. Blowing my fingers off here. I didn't really blow them off, but I blew on them. This isn't going to work, but this will. You got to push both tabs down. If I can get to that second tab, maybe, maybe not. All right. Do them one at a time. There's one. A bit more. is kaput. I burnt myself pretty good there. So it keeps flipping back and it doesn't even make internal contact when you push on it. So the question is can we get in here maybe the spring slipped on it? must pronounce my words properly it just made us a, a click look at that <laughs> it says I give up man I give up I'll work okay now I have no idea what the heck let's make sure we're getting continuity not shorted yay yay all right well I wonder how long this is gonna last but I 
I get in situations like this uh, professionally. I really hate charging the customer. So I give them one heck of a deal. It's like, eh, it's not going to be free, but it ain't going to be much. Because, I mean, basically, you know, <laughs> what did I do? I pulled it out. Kind of squeezed it a bit, and it started working. I suppose we should go from this side to that side. Now, have to heat that up. When I heated this up, this tab bent over, so it might have a little something to do with it. And this is what I use to make this. The bestest solder flux ever ever all right oh I never did I gotta fill my solder up here this is just Walmart solder it'll be fine why the old soldering iron it's taken a while to heat up which means I'll have to change this again eventually pretty quick. Eventually pretty quick. Should go to 480 in pretty much 30 seconds for sure. But, or I mean 480 if I said 380. It's 474 right now, which of course is hot enough. But we'll put a little, little bit. Beauteous. No, we still got a. Oh, yeah. Just show shiny. I thought there was a hole there. Shiny, shiny. Burn myself again. No, it shouldn't be. I'll even just leave these two wired up. Worst come to worst, I mean, I've got another switch. I've got plenty of switches. Well, I don't know about plenty, but I've got enough to to fix this. Probably enough solder right on that wire. Uh, you both in there? Yes. Also comes in needle size. Actually, not this large of a needle. Whoa. I don't sell these long needles anymore. It's a little dangerous. I kind of like it because you can get in. get down in there if you have to and then I I sell the pens this pen this is not alcohol based so when you leave a dot it's pinpoint it doesn't run it's for SMDs it's just the perfect amount if I may say so myself these are alcohol pins pins pens they say pins in the south. Whoa. That's just for like cleaning contacts. This is getting kind of dirty. I'll be selling these as well. Everything's refillable. Alright, let's let solder. That same metal mesh I've got. In a really tight, I suppose I could show you it. 
This is actually a piece of electrical conduit. And what I did is I packed that uh, copper uh, scrub brush, scrub, sc scrub pad in there and took a hammer and just beat it right in there because it's nice and tight. You just rock it back and forth. Nice and shiny. And now, back to our show. Solder would be good, wouldn't it? A clean tip is essential. Pro tip. Beautiful. It is full of beauty. As I bump the camera. All right. So. Pretty simple on the inside there, E. Eh? Let's make sure that this fuses. Okay, good. Still tight. I am so confident that I'm going to go ahead and put the screws in. He's mad, mad, I tell you. <laughs> Why didn't they use flush screws for this? I'll flip this over and show you in a second. Why didn't they use a larger? Maybe they wanted it vented. That could be because there's that transformer in there. But probably more than anything, they just, eh, good enough. Before I tighten them all, all the way down, I'll just get them in there. And then we'll tighten it. I'm going to tighten them by hand, or I should say finish tightening them that by hand, because that cheap screw, electric screwdriver is not ratcheted, so I don't want to strip out my screws or my tool. Ooh, yeah, look at this. Look at them screws just focus, focus. They could have used flathead screws, would have been better. Would have been more gooder, more betterest. All right. Click. Boom, <coughs> blew up. All right, you ready? You ready? Oh, oh, yeah! Well, what could be easier? I could see if it's heating up. Oh, yeah, it's heating up, all right. Yeah, make sure she flippies. Go, babe. <laughs> See, so you take it. Ooh, let's turn that off. How hot will it be? You put it in your flask. Oh, this this mag this magnet's bad. I've got more, but wait, we have different sizes. We got more coming from China. There you go. <laughs> anyway, that's how that works. And if you watch this, you must have had nothing better to do. But anyway, thank you for watching.